I often have people commenting on my videos giving advice how to solve certain situations problems and you might be wondering why I don't take that advice let me start off by saying I really really appreciate the advice and I appreciate you taking the time and the thought to put it in a comment we go uh, Aradis has finished the tiling for the floor and uh, I've made a little change to the windows with uh, everyone's help of course but uh, now you've got so this one opens this one opens this one's fixed um, it needs a bit of titivation but um, yeah we'll do that and the next visit we're going to block in the top bit here the top bit above the door and granite wall in all this stuff and I've also taken the big post that was here out and replaced it with a tiny little post <laughs> but um, yeah all done looking good I tell you trying to sit in the garden and find a quiet place in suburbia it's so noisy over here you're hearing cars planes flying overhead people talking I miss my farm the peace and the quiet so the five reasons I don't take your advice and I will go into them in a little bit more detail later on in the video but for now the five reasons number one time number two context number three trying to get number three number three is money number four number four is let me try and think now I had this all worked out number four is materials and number five is manpower before I get into my five reasons if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of upcoming videos and please comment and keep letting the advice flow my way so why is time a problem when I'm supposed to be retired well the reality is that I'm not really retired because I have to keep working to still generate an income to survive and to create the infrastructure on the farm so if you remember this farm had been abandoned for 60 years before I bought it so it had no infrastructure so putting that infrastructure in place does take time and um, with my work that I do I'm often working three sometimes more uh, days a week and those are eight hour work days and in between that if I'm have a, have a break that's when I run to go and feed the animals and myself I suppose I can count myself with the animals but um, that happens when I have like short breaks so I have perfected the art of feeding all the pigs in a 10 minute break so um, that's just the reality so often your suggestions on how I should be doing something uh, needs a lot of my time which is at a premium so I don't always have the time to do things myself because I am still having to work to generate and income and sometimes uh, when I'm doing workshops or school visits I have to travel as well so if it's a three-day school visit 
then I have one day to travel there and another day to travel back so basically I'll be gone for five days and um, for a for a workshop two-day workshop some workshops are three days you're looking at four to five days including the travel time so time is not always available another reason I don't take your advice is context unless you actually see the farm in person you don't actually understand the context because uh, a case um, as an example the anonymous plumber had a great plan how he was going to do the irrigation uh, for me on the farm he thought it was going to be very very easy until he arrived at the farm and he thought oh my goodness this is way more difficult and complicated than it looked on the video i don't think people realize the extent of the granite rocks that i have and um, even when walter and Ricard and ollie arrived all of them commented on the fact that they never realized like the drop from the top of the land to the bottom of the land was so great and um and that that would affect the way we do the road the way we do the runoff and plans they had thought of wouldn't actually work in the context <clears throat> of what you see the terrain is like and the fall etc when you are actually physically there on the farm so what it looks like on the video although i don't change what it looks like but it doesn't necessarily show the context or the extent of the issues that i have to deal with on the farm and i don't mind dealing with those issues because i love that farm and i love the terrain and i love the way that it is like everything makes it special a massive issue uh, and reason why i might not take your advice is that of money you know when they say money makes the world go round well they're not wrong so some of your suggestions uh, and advice of the way i should be doing things means that i'm going to have to fork out quite a bit of money to do the way you suggest that money is not in my bank account i basically live from month to month and um i i can't just spend five thousand euros on a on a fix um that's just not going to happen i have to watch every penny i have to prioritize how i spend the money and um telling me i need to get uh, ibc tanks or you need a pump or you need to put a roof on this and you know it's it's if I've got to do that, I know I might have to do that, but it's going to take me some months of budgeting towards that. So just know that um, when you offer advice and there's a cost involved for me to follow your, vi your advice, I might not be able to do it because I don't have the money. Another reason that I might not take your advice is materials. Sometimes when you order materials here, it might, example wood, it might take three months to arrive. Other times those materials are not actually readily available in Portugal. So that was another thing that the anonymous plumber discovered was that uh, plumbing supplies that he knew were readily available at uh, the local plumbing supply store. Um, when he came to Portugal, he saw that those supplies were not readily available. And instead of just getting 
one uh, piece of, of, of um, plumbing that you need, over here you'd have to buy three different pieces to put together to make that one piece. So it is a lot more complicated. And um, for people that say, oh, just go to your nearest hardware store, um, that's about 35 k's away and, and takes uh, about 40, 45 minutes to an hour sometimes to get there. So um, when you wanting to go and buy materials, you wanting to make sure you're getting a whole lot of different things from different stores so that you're just making one trip because it's going to take at least three to four hours out of your day. And going back to time, I don't always have that time available. Um, I haven't even had time to fetch uh, my meds from the pharmacy because I've been so snowed under and so busy with these online assignments. So, um, yeah, there's no corner hardware store uh, that sells everything over here. I mean, you can order things on Amazon. You can... Um, you won't always know the quality you're going to get because you can't see what you're ordering other than just a picture of it. But um, as regards materials, the other thing is that you don't always um, know what they call it in Portugal. So they might have it, but because you... Because my Portuguese is limited, and that's something that I need to work on in 2023, you don't always know what they call it. So you don't know what to ask for. So you try and describe it, you try and explain it, you show pictures, you show pictures that you took uh, from other sites online, and there's no guarantee that you're going to find what you're looking for. So some of your advice involving certain products, that doesn't always work here. Yeah, you have to try and make do with what you have got. And another reason why I might not take your advice is manpower. Because of me having to still be working, as I said before, my time is limited. And then, of course, when you do have a free day where you can be doing the work you wanting that needs to be done, then it can be pouring with rain or the wind howling or something comes up. So it's not always easy. And the other thing is that my skill set for building is not brilliant. I've managed to amass most of the tools that I need, but the tool is only as good as the craftsman using that tool. And my skill set, as I said, is not so great. Um, to hire someone to do it for you in Portugal is not easy especially when your nearest village has uh, only 57 people still living there with an average age of about 80. So it's not easy to hire someone to do a job that needs to be done because there's not that much in the way of labor. And often people... Um, hiring themselves out have a the same kind of limited skill set that you have so the work they do you often have to redo it and you've forked out that money to hire them you know so it's um that's another issue is 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 finding labor and not just labor, labor where the person has the skill set that is needed. So um, I do rely a lot on volunteers and whatever skills they are um, bringing, 
I try and um, use those skills. But of course, everybody who comes to see you has a different interpretation of how the problem should be solved. And so you end up sometimes um, buying materials that they need to solve the problem their way, and then they leave, and then the job isn't finished yet, and then someone else comes in and they have a different idea on how to solve the problem, and then you've got to buy more materials for the, for the way they want. It's, um, that is one of the challenges. And, um, yeah, so I thought I just wanted to let people know why I don't always follow your advice. It's not because I think your advice is worthless. It's, it's, it's not because I disrespect you in any way. And I know some people get a little bit annoyed and irritated when I don't follow their advice. But... The reason why I'm not following your advice will be one of those five reasons that I have just listed. So please don't get impatient with me and please don't get irritated when I don't seem to be listening. There is a reason why I am not doing what you suggest. If you're wanting to give someone a really special gift, I have two beautiful calendars. One for the piglets, and I have another one which is just the farm in general with some, what I think, quite beautiful photos I took over the course of this year. The link to the calendars is in the description below. And if you'd like to support the channel, besides commenting, subscribing, sharing the video with friends, you can also buy me a coffee. The link is in the description below. I do have PayPal as well. Link in the description below. And also I have an Amazon wish list. Link is, as I said before, in the description below. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay sane, keep those comments and advice coming, and I'll see you in the next video.